Hey guys, it's Skier, and today I'm releasing the Nick Hider version 3.1 mod. This mod has many improvements over the version 3.0, but the main one is now instead of using six random characters to mask players, it uses a random word from the English language. For example, it is using player lug and player rolling to describe mini clune and whoever this other person is. This will greatly help with communication between teams because instead of being like player 56C94 is doing something, it can be like player Forebrain or player telescope is doing something. I've also fixed many of the bugs within the mod and added a command that slash nickhider clear, which clears all of the caches that the mod has. So in case you're experiencing any unwanted overrides or something is like overriding to something else, or you're having trouble saying something in chat because of previous overrides, this mod will clear all those caches so that you can say everything normally. That's all I have. Please consider subscribing when downloading the mod and have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Hey guys, it's Gear, and today I'm releasing the Nick Hider V3 mod. This mod is available both for Hyperion Build 20 and Minecraft Forge 1.8.9. What this mod does is while you're on a Hypixel, it masks your Nick. So right now I'm not Nicked. You can see in tab and in chat, right, I'm not Nicked. But if I type slash Nick and go through the GUI to Nick myself, normally if you're streaming or something, people can see your Nick and it makes it pretty easy to target you. It's a huge issue. We're going to go with a random skin. And we're gonna, uh, here, we're gonna go for a random name. And you can see here, it automatically found what my nick was and masked it with my real name. So now everywhere, it shows a skier, even in chat. Just uh, VIP plus skier, even though if I do slash nick hider toggle, that isn't actually my nick. My nick right now is Anna 142 but that is being remasked on my screen. Now this won't affect anyone not using the mod, but it's really only designed for streamers anyway so that it shows as your true name. Now, there are a few other features to make it a lot harder to stream snipe someone. So, while you're in a game, you can also type slash Nick Hyder skin, and that'll change everyone's skin to be either a Steve or an Alex, adding an extra layer of obfuscation on top of it. And you can do slash Nick Hyder self to toggle whether between it's just yourself being changed or everyone else. So you can see that person became player 9k something 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 right so that makes it a lot harder for people to realize who you are and stream snipe you simply because they can't actually see who you are or they can't see who anyone else is so if you kill someone that you're going to kill a player blah 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 but they're not actually going to know who that player is now if you're playing with teammates and you're both streaming but you both want to be able to use this mod but still communicate about who other players are there's something called the pseudo now the pseudo allows you to pair them up. So right now if I do Nick Hyder EO uh, show, oh whoops, it's a EU. Right now, that's my pseudo, but you can change the pseudo to whatever you want and that'll change what the random numbers after every one's player is. So I change it to a uh, hello, like this. It'll change everyone's, but the thing about the pseudo is if two people have the same pseudo, other players will always link to be the same thing. So that two streamers before the stream, they can link up their pseudos with each other so that they'll be able to communicate about what what each player is while other players still won't know who it is because if they don't have access to the pseudo, they can't find out who the player is. I'm going to kill this person real quick. Oh, they, they lived. Good for them, honestly. I also added a few extra uh, features to it recently this morning and those are allow you to tab complete these players and actually do commands with them uh, and chat with them and it'll actually override it. So right there, I got killed by player whatever, 16 something. If I needed to chat report them or watchdog report them, I can tab them, player 16, uh, and then you can just tab it. And if I try to message them, it'll override that as the message is being sent with the actual player's name to make it so that you can still use all commands and everything fully functionally while not knowing who the player is directly and more importantly, your viewers don't know who they are directly. That's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.